Hello hockey fans and welcome. Today we will be talking about the history of the ever so famous hockey mullet. The mullet has been supported by many over the years, but nobody wears it quite like hockey players. Our first mullet legend starts in 1972 with Guy Lafleur, the OG. Guy Lafleur and his free-flowing hair embodied the carefree attitude of the 70s. Not even the 1979 helmet rule could stop this mullet. Our next mullet takes us to 1984 with Bob Probert, the enforcer. Bob Probert made a career as one of the hockey's toughest enforcers, being called a bruised brother. It's unlikely his hair was ever the subject of ridicule. The next stop on this mullet quest is in 1986 with Wayne Gretzky, known as the Hollywood. In the 80s, mullets were even supported by pretty boy goal scorers like Wayne Gretzky. Nothing strikes fear like white pants, jewelry, and a golden feathered mane. This next hockey player's mullet was considered godlike. In 1999, Yamir Yager, the dark horse. During the 90s, guys like Yamir Yager kept the mullet alive. Yager's mullet was so iconic that it made headlines when he cut it off. Let's jump to 2010 where we should tread lightly on this next mullet. Patrick Kane, the psycho. Business in front, party in back, intimidation on both sides. Those lines are not to be messed with. He was once charged with assault for punching a cabbie in the face, and now he's being accused of rape. Figure it out, bud. Our last mullet takes us to 2014, to Philly, where Cloud Drew plays, the hipster. Cloud Drew's hair and mustache combo has hipster written all over it. Kudos to Cloud for preserving a hockey tradition with this modern day mullet. Thank you, hockey fans, for listening and staying tuned. I hope you all had a good time. I know I did. Now with the business part being over, it's time to party.